In April 2023, astronomers found something exciting, a runaway black hole. This thing is moving through the universe at an incredible speed, about 3.5 million miles per hour. It's 4.5 thousand times faster than the speed of sound. They found it accidentally. Researchers noticed that there was some weird straight line in Hubble images. After some digging, they realized there was a moving black hole. As it moves, it compresses the gas on its path, literally creating new stars along its journey. So it's leaving a beautiful long trail of stars behind it. And when I say long, I mean it. Its tail is 200,000 light years long, which is like the length of two Milky Ways. Turns out one end of this star trail connects to a distant small galaxy. This is probably where the black hole came from. Most likely there were two supermassive black holes whirling around each other. And then another galaxy came along with its own supermassive black hole and ejected one of the original ones like a mean kid, which is why it's called Runaway. There might be a ninth planet with the very original name, Planet 9, in our solar system. If it exists, it's probably somewhere far beyond Pluto. Astronomers think so because some rocky objects near Neptune move in a weird way as if they were influenced by the gravity of a large unseen planet. Planet 9 might be a gas or ice giant seven times the mass of Earth. One of the ideas is that it could have existed in our solar system, but then bumped into something huge and ended up with a crazy long orbit around our sun. If we actually discover it, it could change our understanding of the solar system. A new telescope is coming soon, equipped with the largest digital camera ever built, and it will start scanning the sky in 2025. Maybe it will finally spot this mysterious planet. Another awesome discovery was made in 2023. The James Webb Space Telescope found over 500 planet-like objects in the Orion Nebula. Some of them are roughly the mass of Jupiter, so they're literally called Jupiter mass binary objects, or jumbos. They just float out there with no stars, and they're not really stars or planets themselves. What's even crazier is that in about 42 pairs of them, the objects are orbiting each other, even though planets aren't supposed to do that. On top of that, such large objects shouldn't form and exist without a star at all. So now, astronomers are trying to explain this. Perhaps jumbos have formed in places where there was enough stuff for big planet-like objects, but not enough for stars? Or maybe all of them were ejected from their star systems for some reason. Who knows? But now we definitely need to study them. The black hole in the center of our galaxy, Sagittarius A star, used to be super weird. Luckily, it didn't run away like that other one, but it was completely crazy in the past. Astronomers found two supermassive structures called the Fermi Bubbles and Erosita Bubbles. They spanned about half the width of our entire galaxy and they've been towering over the Milky Way for over two million years now. And scientists think that it's our black hole that created them. It seems like when it was at its peak activity, it had a wild energetic eruption that lasted about 100,000 years. This event probably left these bubbles. In 2023, the James Webb Space Telescope took a striking, super detailed image of the so-called Herbig Haro objects. These objects are called Herbig Haro 46-47. They're basically young stars surrounded by beautiful patches of nebulosity. You can see the stars being surrounded by a disk of material that feeds them as they grow for millions of years. They're located at about 1,470 light years away, but they're actually not our main topic of discussion. What's much more interesting is this weird thing right below them a space structure that looks like a question mark. What is this thing? No one knows for sure. It has an orange-red color, which hints that it might be super distant, far from our galaxy, maybe even billions of light years away. Some think that this strange question mark is probably the result of two or more galaxies merging together. One of them was a bit curved, so it's probably a distorted spiral galaxy. The curve might be the tails being stripped off as they spiral towards each other. 
The other one was rounder and smaller, like a regular spherical one. The gravity games never fail to amaze us. Astronomers started searching for extraterrestrial megastructures. They think that if there's another intelligent civilization out there, they could have built something incredibly huge to power their technology. For example, like Dyson spheres. Hypothetical structures around stars that use the star's energy as fuel. Astronomers analyzed some historical telescope data that detects infrared signals. They spotted some weird signals that could hint at the presence of these structures. In total, there are seven such candidates right now. All of them are coming from red dwarf stars, which are redder, smaller, and less massive than the Sun. Another research institute found 53 potential candidates. They're still not sure what exactly causes these signals, but it could be not Dyson spheres, but some huge debris. It looks like there are some mysterious structures in the center of our galaxy. In 2023, the James Webb Space Telescope has taken a detailed picture of the Sagittarius C region. It's right near the center of the Milky Way. This image showed a dense area where stars are forming. There were many young stars and dark clouds that blocked the light from the stars behind them. That's a very packed place, with about 500,000 stars of different ages, sizes, and colors. This place is very chaotic and extreme. Now, scientists are using it to study star formation. But the weird part is that they noticed something else. The large region of ionized hydrogen. It looks like cyan in the image. This area is about 25 light years long, surrounding the lower side of dense cloud. And it looks like there are some needle-like structures. They seem to be located randomly, and astronomers have no idea what they are. So now they have to study this in more detail. Astronomers have found a super rare, massive galaxy. It's called JWST 7329, and it's absolutely ancient. Our entire universe is about 13.8 billion years old, but the stars in this galaxy seem to have formed around 13 billion years ago, so just around 800 million years after the Big Bang. Also, this venerable elder has four times more mass in stars than our Milky Way does today. This strange discovery challenges what we know about galaxy formation and the nature of dark matter. Everything we know tells us that galaxies shouldn't have formed so early. There shouldn't have been enough dark matter for that. But here we are. So perhaps our models need some revision. There was an incredible astronomical event called AT 2021 LWX, which is also called Scary Barbie. It was an unbelievably bright burst of energy that happened on April 13, 2021. It's one of the most energetic space events ever observed. No galaxies or quasars were nearby. So what in the world happened? At first, astronomers thought that it was caused by a supermassive black hole pulling in a massive star. But after some studying, they think it's probably because a giant black hole had some crazy dinner. It probably ate a large amount of gas, possibly a giant molecular cloud. The titanic black hole in question is between a hundred million and a billion times the mass of the sun. This is one of the most massive known and active black holes. Astronomers found the oldest strand of the cosmic web ever seen. The cosmic web is what we call a huge structure of the universe that's made of interconnected filaments of galaxies and dark matter. They're like a framework for galaxies and other structures, playing a crucial role in their formation. The filament we're talking about is made up of 10 closely packed galaxies. It's unimaginably huge, stretching over 3 million light years. And it looks like the newly discovered strand is very ancient. It occurred only 830 million years after the Big Bang. It's probably anchored by a luminous quasar. This discovery makes us question how exactly galaxies are formed and what exactly happened to our universe after the Big Bang. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.